Happy Monday! Today we're tackling a couple of tough issues, including price negotiations, commission reductions, and negotiating contracts. So let's get started. guys, there is a shift in this market that is happening that people really don't want to address. But for my agents, I really want y'all to be prepared so you're not taken aback when this shift happens. And it's even starting to affect a few agents here and there. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about today is price reductions. This is something that agents two to three years really haven't seen a whole lot of and even four years. Uh, in some places, the market's been really, really strong and they haven't had to address it. So I'm just giving you a little bit of forewarning. Price reductions are going to start happening and you have to mentally prepare your sellers for it. And as a buying agent, you can actually go in and do some research to see how many showings have happened on a property to kind of get an idea of if you should offer reduced price if your clients are really looking for it. And in the future, you might even be able to expand the homes that you're looking for in order to get a better house for your clients. Because what's happening right now is because the seller expectation is so high, the buyers are coming in thinking, oh, we have to reduce our price range. So if you're on the buying or the selling side being armed with that information, you can actually provide better visuals or uh, um, a better idea of what range of house you're looking at. So you might want to adjust it a little bit higher for yourself and have yourself on. If, if you're really struggling with a buyer, you can adjust the range and look out for some other properties. Maybe you're not sending them to your client. Maybe you're sending them just to yourself. And then you're going in and taking a look at their time on market, how many showings they've had, and making an educated decision on if they might be willing to take a price reduction. And then as a veteran agent or as a experienced agent, you would go into your client and say, hey, this is outside of our price range, but here's what we can attempt to do if you like this property and work on a price reduction, but set the expectations that it may not go through, but we're going to try it because we have some evidence in this market that things are shifting and we might be able to get a better deal on it. So there are some steps you can take. I encourage you highly, highly to talk to your broker or your mentor about this process because not a lot of agents have dealt with price reductions and it's very, very scary. Uh, another big thing that we're seeing is the negotiation on contracts. So if you're coming in as a buying agent in this market, you've probably given up a lot of ground just to get the contract. And you really need to sharpen those negotiating skills because you're about to have a lot more leverage in the market, especially in our area. Uh, making some bold claims, but things are gonna things are gonna shift at some point. So I highly, highly recommend working on your negotiating skills, even with another agent, in advance. So get negotiating, get those skills underway. What can you ebb and flow on? What can you give? What can you take? And be prepared for that transition in the market. Go ahead and start working with your broker on when can I identify when I can negotiate. When, what is a sign that says I can negotiate this contract? Because there are subtle and obvious signs that allow you to negotiate. And when you go in to have a conversation about my third point, this will arm you substantially. I'm seeing a lot of people to point three that are having to reduce their commission in this market. And it hurts my heart because I know how hard you work. I know it's difficult to make it by, especially when you're going from a 3% commission, which could be anywhere between three and $4,000 difference down to a 2% commission or a one and a half or a half percent commission. Guys, y'all are not a fee brokerage. Like that's, that's, you've earned your money and you have to sell yourself and the expertise that you provide. So if you can go in and talk about price reductions, if you can go in and talk about how you negotiate contracts, even in a difficult market, guys, you're going to be way above and beyond. But you have to know your skill. You have to be able to translate that skill and the value to your clients. And let's say you're talking for sell by owner and they go in and they say, they're just off put the whole time. Don't waste your time. I know as an agent, especially a newer agent, it's hard to just let a lead go. But if you're not getting paid the value out of it, especially on if, if they're on the selling side, I can understand more of it because there's a little less work. But on the buying side, 
you're putting in hours and hours of searching, hours of driving, tons of gas, which it's ridiculous right now. So you don't deserve to have to pay that. So guys, these are the three things I really want you to be aware of. And it's not happening right this second, at least not wide, in a widespread manner, but you're seeing a, a price reductions that are going to start happening and you're going to have to start dealing with them. You're going to have to start negotiating a lot more contracts, which for the buying agents, that's going to be awesome for the selling agents, not so much. Um, but then you're also going to have this commission reduction that we're seeing a conversation about with so many people right now. You don't deserve to cut your commission. Instead, Instead, focus on improving your value and showing your clients that you can bring them more value than that small price reduction would ever, ever matter. So, or that, that commission reduction would ever matter. So again, build up your value statements, focus on your negotiating skills and learn the process of price reductions from both the buying and the selling side. Get in, get ahead of the game on that. Oh, and guys, uh, just FYI, thanks for listening today. Follow and like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. But something we are having on Wednesday of next week, it, or the 23rd, I'll send it out. I'll put a link in the, the, the description below. But we are going to be having a marketing mastermind group. So we're actually going to be giving you a calendar with some ideas and dates that you can plan around. And we're going to have discussions based on what you should be doing with those dates. Because there are some pretty basic things that you can do with social, but um, there are some more advanced things you can do, which will make it more of a ROI return on your investment. So hope to see you there. Comment if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover for you in detail or just in short. But I love you guys. Good luck out there and go rock it this week. <laughs>